in Genesis chapter 16, we are going to read verse 33. Then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees. For she said, Have I also here seen him who sees me? This is the story of Hagar, Abraham's second wife, who was abused by Sarai, Abraham's first wife. In fact, when the Bible talks about how Sarai treated Hagar, it uses the same word used in the book of Exodus chapter 1 to describe how the Egyptians treated the children of Israel when a new Pharaoh arose who did not know Joseph. Sarai herself had been a victim of abuse a few years earlier. When Abraham went to Egypt, he asked of Sarai something no husband should ever ask of his wife. He asked that she deny that they were husband and wife and lean only on the fact that they were siblings. The result was that when they got to Egypt, the princes of Egypt, upon seeing how beautiful Sarai was and realizing that she was Abraham's sister, took her to be one of the wives of the Pharaoh. God intervened before the Pharaoh could even touch Sarai. But there she was in the Pharaoh's palace, waiting for the Pharaoh to come and do to her what husbands did to their wives. What we learn from this story is that first, this kind of abuse and violence in the home knows no gender. Both men and women can be perpetrators of this abuse and violence, and both men and women can be victims of this form of violence and abuse in the home. Secondly, we learn that this violence and abuse in the home can also be found in the homes of believers. When Hagar was abused by Sarai, she ran away. It appears she was going back to Egypt and she met with the angel of the Lord who told her to go back to Sarai who was her abuser and to submit under her hand. But the conversation did not end there. The angel of the Lord told her that she would have a son. She would call him Ishmael. And then she spoke, he spoke about Ishmael as a man, giving Hagar this hope that her unborn son would grow up to be a man, a strong man. And this is when Hagar talks about the Lord and says, He is the God who sees because she felt that as much as she was going back to an abusive situation, God saw her situation. He did not just see her situation, but had a plan to see her through her abusive situation. I want to talk to those people who are in homes that have abuse and violence. We serve a God who sees, a God who sees your situation and who will see you through it. 14 years later, Abraham has another son, Isaac. And when Isaac is being weaned, Sarah asks Abraham to send Hagar and Ishmael away. And God, when consulted, says, yes, let Hagar and Ishmael go. I will take care of them. And the interesting thing about this is that this is the first recorded case of divorce in the Bible. Hagar had been in this situation that was so abusive that she ran away when she was pregnant. And now, more than 14 years later, the Lord chooses to remove her from that situation. He allows her to get out of this situation. But at this time, her son is no longer unborn or an infant. He's a teenager. And we see that the God we serve is able to remove us from abusive situations. And I want you to know that our God is capable of doing that, even if it means he uses unorthodox methods. Later on, when Abraham dies, 
Isaac comes back and jo uh, Ishmael rather comes back to join his brother Isaac to bury their father Abraham. I'm not sure what was going on in Ishmael's life, but it comes across as though at this point he was no longer bitter. We serve a God who is able to transform our childhood experiences and take away the bitterness. After Abraham is buried, the Bible takes time to mention the sons of Ishmael as if to say, I have taken care of Ishmael and look at what he has turned out to be. In chapter 25, verse 13, after the Bible has mentioned the different sons of Ishmael, it then says, and these were the sons of Ishmael. These were their names according to their towns, their settlements, 12 princes according to their nations. And here was Ishmael after having grown up in a situation that was abusive. I don't know if Hagar was still alive. I don't know if she lived long enough to see God's promise be fulfilled in the life of her son. But at that point, Ishmael is established. We serve a God that will carry you through life and establish you later on in life. For those people who are in abusive homes, our God sees. He is able to transform the minds and the hearts and behaviors of the people who are abusive. He is able to remove us from abusive situations and is able to carry our children through life and through those abusive situations. Do not lose hope during this lockdown period because we serve a God who sees.